morning all. Right, so during uh, during everything that's gone down in the last kind of year, I've put on a fair bit of weight. I'd already put on a fair bit of weight. I've now put on a huge amount. So I'm trying to do something about it right now. It has to end at some point, right? So I'm a big fan of basketball. I always have been and it's something that I very rarely do anymore. The only time I really have to come and do things like this is early morning like now. It's like half six. So yeah, I thought I would try this, try, you know, filming it and maybe thought maybe we could have like a different subject every day or maybe not every day it depends how often I come I guess we'd fast run out of subjects if I come every day yeah if you have any ideas of what we can discuss what I can go into let me know and we'll do that You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Get it up. Secure the baggy, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the baggy, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. So a few days ago, I got some dinosaurs and a few other toys as well for twenty pounds. I got these two dragons, also. That one and that one. I um, had a quick look, and I think these are worth about that one's worth at least 20, and that one might be worth up to about 35, perhaps. Um, prices are kind of all over the place on both of them, but the older ones, I think from like the early 2000s, they're about maybe mid 2000s. And here's some of the other ones we've got these Brachiosaurus, two of them, uh, two T Rexes and some kind of fairy guys actually they're not fairies they're elves the elves typing in fairy didn't really bring anything up but type in elves and that was uh you know they all started coming up on ebay but uh these are all schleich same with those dragons they're schleich as well so a really good brand you know to get all this for 20 pounds plus the other few bits that i'll show you in a second um that's in the shed a couple of stegosaurus or whatever those guys are called and a couple of triceratops yeah so pretty good so these go for about at least 20 but i reckon a bit more there's a few that have sold come in from america for about 20 but plus 20 pounds postage as well so i reckon i can get i'll probably go for like 30 plus postage i reckon on on each one and then these probably like 15 maybe 20 on the t-rex and then the others 10 to 15 per item uh, some of the fairies do quite well i didn't look into these my partner did um so i can't remember exactly how much these are worth but they're all right some of them there is one in particular which i'm not seeing which one is it her uh, she seems to be worth a bit coupled her with a horse and um yeah there's a little bit of money in them i think they're about 10 to 15 per set i know this is what the park looks like today it's cold it's really cold today I don't know if you can make it out on camera but it's all misty moon so yeah so i was thinking what subjects i could cover today but do you know what right now i'm just the only thing i'm bothered about is actually getting it <laughs> do you know what i mean like you know it was a struggle today to get myself up and get here it's my day off today as well so you know could have had a little light in but i was like nope nope I know it's a bit it's a bit lighter than it was yesterday but it's the same time um it's just the sun sunrise is a bit earlier today 
but uh, yeah so as I say as, as I go on I, I will I will do a few different subjects because I, I thought it would be interesting and uh, you know keep it reseller related yeah no chest mount today I ended up yesterday with like loads of footage and only a tiny bit of it was actually usable so I don't know I'll wear it occasionally I'll learn how to kind of get better at wearing it but for now no chest mount today right okay let's do it one hour let's go I'll see you in a minute hey guys so I have just finished look at the steam coming off me so it's a Tuesday so I'm off today it's supposed to be a really nice day today I think 17 degrees Celsius so that's nice might spend a bit of time in the garden but I really need to get a few things photographed and listed today as well uh, I've been listening quite a lot over the last few days but not like you know not like normal but then I've not got the stock like normal so usually you know you pick up all you pick up stuff to resell and that keeps you listing do you know what I mean you don't want to your pile keeps getting bigger so you just keep going you keep going when it's like this you, you know you got a little bit here and a little bit there and it's just like I don't know it's almost like if you get to the bottom of the pile and there's nothing left what happens then but you know two weeks and the shops are reopening so hopefully and then the car boot sale reopens a few days later um, by the time I put this video out though it's probably less time than that um, I will almost certainly put this out before the 12th of April um, and hopefully I've been coming every day well the plan was Monday to Friday every day I wasn't going to bother with the weekend, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I should. The thing is, when the car boots are back on, I can't, you know, I could still come down here, it'd just be a bit later. But once I've been walking around there for three hours, I probably won't want to come and play basketball for an hour. Okay, so this is the rest of the stuff. We've got a bit of Fireman Sam stuff here, a few kind of figures and that, little play set. A bit of track, which I'm guessing is just the Fireman Sam as well. And a few kind of random bits. We've got this fire truck. It's Tonka, but it's pretty like cheaply made in that. I don't think it's really going to be worth much, if anything. A few kind of generic dinosaurs, but this one's from like 1985, so you never know. Maybe there's a bit of value in some of them. I'll do a little bundle. But yeah, check these guys out. These two. And this one. So some of you will know what these are, some of you won't. I thought, I mean, I watched Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when, when I was a kid. I was thinking, yeah, that's what they're from. Definitely what they're from. I didn't know I was getting these, by the way. These these were just kind of in with the dinosaurs. She'd just put like a few extra things in without me uh, knowing, which was re really nice of her. She was a really nice uh, woman who we bought the stuff off. And um, yeah, she's put these in. These are... Bucky O'Hare, yeah, Bucky O'Hare, two of, um, I had a quick look, if you've got the guns for these, these go for about 20, 25 quid if you've got the guns, each each hand should have a little gun, uh, but like this, about 10 each I reckon, 10 plus postage, that's what I'm going to go for, um, and same with this guy, although I think this guy's slightly rarer, so we might get a little bit more for him or I might do like a two like those two together and then just the other one by himself something like that so this so this so there's just a few other bits in here as well nothing you know nothing really worth too much We've got like a captain scarlet there he's not really worth anything though I looked into him <laughs> I'm just looking at this stuff looking at these toys what, who's this we've already got that one haven't we Thomas Tank and Bill Pretty sure we've got Bill, or have we got Ben? Maybe we've got Bill and Ben now. So we've got a few other kind of random bits, you know, probably not much money in it, but I'll have a look. I'll, you know, dust them off and see what we've got. Maybe we've got like a little toy set that I can put on eBay. If not, I will uh, donate them to a charity shop. Another classic case of, you know, they just advertised for sale the Schleich dinosaurs, and when we got there, 
they had, you know, kindly put a load more stuff in as well. I didn't know that. If I had extra money, I probably would have given her a bit of extra money, but I I need to start taking more money around with me. Um, I tend to just take out what I want from the bank, you know, the exact amount, and then, and that's it, because I don't really pay with cash for anything other than when I, you know, car boot sales and uh, picking stuff up on Facebook. Hey guys, so here we are, day three, Wednesday today. So I've been thinking about what I can talk about today. I think I have to talk about this one because it's not a good one, unfortunately, but I think it's important to talk about the, the good things and the bad things. So I went straight into it. I'm gonna try and cut it down as much as I can. Let's go. Right, so I sold a keyboard on eBay. Now this keyboard, perfect, tested it, good, good one. You've probably, you may have seen it in a previous video, the Casio one that I got, boxed, fully boxed with the stand and, and everything. Anyway, sold that on eBay. Got some message me and says, I buy this tomorrow. I was like, right. So I messaged back nicely and just said, um, I'm pretty sure you can buy the item but just not pay for it until tomorrow and she replied back with some kind of like ranting message about how that's not true and i was like right well fine whatever because i was thinking you know yeah i'm not going to hold it for them that's what i was thinking but you know fine next day she paid and then had another rant about how she doesn't have a paypal account and she has no she would never ever have a PayPal account, no chance, kind of thing. I'm like, what are you on about? Um, I'm sure I didn't even mention PayPal, but you know, whatever. So straight away you're thinking, right, this is gonna be hard work. And it was, <laughs> it was. So I have three day dispatch, and she said, you know, she said, um, you know, I hope, I hope it's gonna be posted soon because I bought another keyboard off somebody else and they're a liar and it doesn't work um, and I'm you know I don't want to buy off another liar something like that and I was just like I stayed in the listing it will be posted within three days and then you know I don't think I mentioned how long it would take once it's posted but you know it says it on the listing as we all know literally first thing the next morning she said why haven't you sent it yet so this is you know the day after she bought it like a few hours after she bought it so again, I explained, no response back. So I send it and I send it on parcel force 48 hours, which is a two to three day service. I know it's called 48 hours, but that's what it is, two to three days. So I sent it, updated the tracking information and the tracking information was coming up as about five or six working days. Um, now it does actually say three to five working days on the listing as standard you know that's what i have on there because i don't know what courier i'm going to send these things from the larger things i'll obviously go with the cheapest courier i can find at the time she come she complained about that like almost immediately after i'd done it um and i said listen it's three to five days um that's the that's my my kind of quoted time on the listing so that's probably what you're seeing it's probably because of that. I wasn't sure if it's because of that or because there might be a delay on parcel force. But I said, like, also, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Things may be slightly delayed. But I said, it's gone on a 48 hour courier, uh, which is actually three days. You know, I went through all this, what I've just said. Um, and she came back saying that I was a liar. She said I was a liar, that the time frame I quoted was wrong, etc., etc. Um, I replied, so no, no, I explained again. She replied again, again saying I was a liar, like capital letters, you're a liar, like a big ranting long message. Um, and I, I received a few of them, but on the last one I received, I thought, nah, I'm not having it. So I responded and the last thing I said in the message was, um, I don't appreciate being called a liar. And then lo and behold, the item arrives on we're on today god my days are all over the place at the moment the item arrived on 
were Wednesday. The item arrived on Monday. So I sent it on a Thursday and it arrived on a Monday. So that is two working days. Two working days. Um, which is exactly what it should have been. Anyway, so it arrived, didn't hear a word. And I just knew, I said to my partner, I said, I promise you they will find an issue with this item. We tested it, we tested every function of it. It was a really good condition one. Um, you know, it wasn't, sometimes you get keyboard second hand and they can be a bit knackered, can't they? Very well used and stuff. This wasn't, came with its instructions, came with its original packaging. So yeah, so yesterday afternoon, so the day after it was received by the customer, I get a message, followed by another message, followed by another message. Can you guess what the message said? Can you guess what the message said? The message was, you say you're not a liar. You say you're not a liar. Well, you are a liar, because it doesn't work properly. First message. Second message was something more ranty, longer, abusive. Abusive, but she, you know, abusive without being so bad that eBay would just say, get off our platform. So it's not, you know, she's been careful in that respect. So the problem was apparently that one of the keys was not working. I know for a fact that that is rubbish. I know for a fact that it was packaged so well, so well. See, not only did it come in the box with the polystyrene and everything, I then polystyrened it, polystyrene and bubble wrapped it on the outside of the box and then a uh, brown, like thick brown box all the way around that as well. Um, really well packaged, you know, I just scrolls it into the bracket to get it, to send it like for a reasonable price, otherwise it was going to be like 30 quid or something. So I did everything I could, but I knew, I knew from day one really, um, is there a lesson to be had here? I don't know. Maybe when people send messages like that, you know, I will buy tomorrow, just don't respond to it, maybe. And maybe at that point, after the first abusive message, if they've not bought it yet, just block them. Just block them. But you know, you can't, oh, I don't know. Although I would say, you know, the ones that I've had trouble with on eBay over the years have been the ones like this, where they do, from the word go, they're just really angry and they're the ones that I have issues with. And often I have, I have had opportunity to cancel it and I, I never have, I, ne I never do that, but on this one, maybe I should have done. But you just, you know, hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? You, you can't predict these things. But anyway, so that's about it. I mean, she said to me, what did she say? So yeah, the last two messages yesterday were, so I, I said, if you're not happy with the item, please open a returns case. I was, I, by the way, I've been really, really nice through the whole thing. Even the message where I said, I don't appreciate being called a liar. It was a nice message with that on the end. Do you know what I mean? I don't think that's a bad thing to say after you've been called a liar blatantly and being attacked by fly about, you know, three or four times. I don't think that's a, a bad thing to say. I think, you know, it gets to a point where you have to, you have to say something. If you say nothing, then it's, it's no good. You have to say things sometimes in a polite way, as much as you can. Um, but she said, so I said, yeah, return it, etc. Start a return with eBay. And then I said it again to another message. And then she, then she sent a message again saying, I cannot afford to return it to you. But you know, as we all know, you open a return and if it's, if, it, if it's faulty, which it won't be, if it's faulty, I end up paying the postage on it. But, so again, I, I, you know, I said again, so I said like two or three times. And then that was it. And then she said, she replied with, I'm going to throw it in the bin. And I thought, do what the hell you want. <laughs> At this stage, I don't care. And that's it. I'm not replying to any more messages. If eBay go and look at the messages, they'll see twice that I tried to get the customer to open the case. That's what I need to do. She's probably going to leave bad feedback. But I'm hoping I will get it removed when she does. Not if she does on this one. I'm going to say it, call it now. Um, I will get a bad feedback on this. Even though it's, I've done absolutely nothing wrong at any stage here, but whatever. Anyway, 
you gotta have a little rant in the morning bit of a longer longer than i expected but that's kind of the full story on it um so yeah what i'm doing right now is i'm coming down every morning i'm doing a bit of basketball here i'm going to film a little bit and show you a little bit i, I don't know you know we'll see how it goes uh, i'm going to try and come every day monday to friday So day three, done. So yeah, back to the car. I've got to go to work in about 50 minutes. So back to the car, back home, shower, see the kids, give the kids breakfast and uh, head off to work. But this week it is Easter and Therefore, I get Friday off. Well, actually, I get so I've been working Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yes, not bad, eh? Not bad for you know, considering I'm not actually using any proper time off six days in a row. Yes, we will have that. So yeah, just going back to what I was saying about the customer with the keyboard, you, uh, you're always gonna get this, you know. Just think about, just think about it in general, you know, how many people out there are nice and normal and, you know, what's normal, but you know what I mean? How many people out there are nice, kind of good people? I think most people are. We're not perfect. I think most people are generally good people and not going to try and scam you you know you got a small percentage of people that will and you can't let that deter you from selling on ebay i often see people saying comments you know oh, no, i don't sell on ebay there's too many too many like scammers and stuff like this but i've encountered very few very few but a hell of a lot of people who have been really cool really appreciative you know, most people just don't say anything. They'll leave you feedback and they don't actually, you know, they don't really say much. But some people, I've had a few recently and they've just been really nice. So, and that's regular people. It's not like, not like viewers, subscribers or anything like that, or repeat customers. It's just new customers. Um, and yeah. So, not everyone out there is like this person who's bought the keyboard. A lot of people are nice. I just got unlucky. Anyway, the other pickup I had was all this stuff. This is a load of Hornsey, more of the Hornsey Saffron. And I paid £35 for this, which is just about okay. Wouldn't pay any more than that for this set. Um, she was after more for it really but um, you know I did actually say to her when I got there I said I said the price I think you got it at is you know about right you know if you did kind of split it all up and sell it off individually then you could probably get a bit more but you know most people don't want to do that it's a lot of time and effort to kind of do that you know I'm willing to do that but you're never going to get much more than 35 quid for a set like this if you you know just sticking it on facebook marketplace it's it's not going to happen so we've got a teapot and a coffee pot uh, six saucers six cups a serving plate um, a set of six uh, dining plates a couple of a couple of jugs like an oil and a vinegar so i'll make a tea set or a coffee set it'll be the teapot with the saucers and the cups and a jug and that will be one set and then I see I don't have uh, I don't have another set of um, I don't have another set of sauces, but I do have all these cups here that I unearthed the other day, 
which I didn't realize I had extras of. So I can put them, or six of them, with another set, do another set, there's two jugs, so I can have another jug. And uh, obviously it'll just be without sauces, but I, I think it'll still sell like that. So we'll have two good sets, then I'll do this by itself. This is worth about 12 quid, thereabouts, just for the serving plate. I already have one actually and then the dining plates I'll do by themselves and probably the oil and vinegar I'll do by themselves and there's a couple of egg cups in here just a couple there's something else in here actually oh salt and pepper set in there so I'll do the salt pepper olive oil and vinegar um set together so this jar which I don't oh it does it says tea on it so there we go doesn't really make much difference value wise whether it says tea coffee sugar or it's just plain they all tend to go for about the same price i find so here we are again day number four it's thursday tomorrow is easter friday good friday yeah aching today i could barely walk last night not good is it not good but that's why we're doing it Anyway, rather than have like a specialist subject today, I thought we would have a quick look through the things that have sold in the last few days. Right, I think that I think this is where we were up to. So, so this goes back to the 19th of March. Uh, it's now the 1st of April, so I don't think I've done a sales update since then. So this is everything I've sold since then. Okay, so we had a Mam bite and brush teva 7.99 free postage had 60p to a pound into that 6.99 on a battle of waterloo coin 10 pounds on a load of dinosaurs plus postage and a thomas and friends little track i've just recently relisted these for like the third time they keep getting delisted or whatever i don't even know but i've listed it again and hopefully, well, they've started to sell, so people are seeing them now. Not a lot, 7 95 I think I paid like 2 99 for them from Tesco ages ago. I thought I'd get more than what I'm getting, but I'm not. Profit is small, maybe two or three pounds per item, but at least they're selling now. Um, so I sold one of them, I think there'll be more in a second, uh, 7 95 and then a small set of Hornsey, eight pounds plus postage, just four cups and a jug, all damaged slightly. Tony the Tiger, Frosties, Corgi cars, Jeeps, Porsche, Jaguar, Ferrari. I got these on eBay a while back, along with a few other things. Split them up, sold them, didn't pay a lot for the lot. About seven, eight pounds for everything. Uh, sold a couple of bits, still have a couple of bits. I got 11 pounds plus postage on them. And then Hennessy, Cognac, French Brandy, Ceramic Ashtray, Hornsey, Saffron, Pottery, Salt and Pepper, Vinegar, Cruet Set, £8.75 plus postage. And then we got the keyboard, yay, the keyboard. We love the keyboard. £74.99 plus postage, paid 24 I think, from the charity shop. But that might be coming back. A men's retro official Walt Disney World 2007 polo shirt, £14.99 plus postage. A so crafty crochet, a friend kit. This was like a gift, I think. Box was like completely damaged and something was missing, but still managed to get £8 plus postage. I think they were only about three or four pounds from Aldi when they came out. £21.99 plus postage on some Lanard soldiers. I think I've mentioned these before. These can be all right. Check out my photos. I'll put a couple of photos up of how I tend to list them with kind of weird poses and stuff. Definitely makes a difference, I think. Get a few more pounds doing it like that. Yes, you're farting around, taking a bit of extra time listing them, but I'm a big kid anyway, so I don't mind playing with the toys a bit. The Magic Eyes Cindy. Uh, has a little thing on the back of the head where you can move the eyes. £10 plus postage. That's from the doll bundle that I got a while back. I paid like £40 for a load of dolls. I've sold... I've definitely made my money back on them all. 
Um, I can't say exactly where I'm up to. Can't think where I'm up to right now, but um, I mean, yeah, we definitely made the money back and made a little profit. And then there's another one. And in fact, there's another one in a minute. So definitely into the profit a little bit on them. And they had this bum bag, which went to some kind of production studio. So look out for this in a forthcoming film or TV program, maybe. 14.99 free postage, and I got this for free. The charity shop was going to throw it away. Just like that. I love it. Some Tommy Tippy uh, baby feeding spoons, four pounds ninety nine, free postage. Another Thomas and Friends, Thomas and the Windmill Trackmaster, seven ninety five, free postage. Another Bite and Brush Teva, seven ninety nine, free postage. A Leonardo Collection plate, Santa's little helper, six pounds plus postage. I paid fifty p for that from like a cheap kind of area of a charity shop like i think it was two for a pound or two things 50p each another thomas and friends windmill trapmaster 7.95 free postage so i think that brings me to about two or three left now which is what i wanted i just wanted them gone had them for over a year so you know get rid of them 14 pounds on a Leonardo collection 12 days of Christmas tree shaped lidded trinket box. Yeah, these are going well, the profit is not amazing, but we're making about, pay two pounds 50 each for them, we're making about 10 or 11 pounds um, at that price. And then another one for 13.99. So again, same kind of profit. And then another doll from that doll um, bundle, the most expensive single doll this was. Uh, had it up at 23.99, took it off for 20. It's a Live Jake boy mail doll, making waves, like the original outfit, like the life jacket stuff. Um, yeah, 20 pounds plus three pounds postage. I, I paid like 43, 44, something like that for the whole lot. So just there, in those two listings I've just mentioned, you know, that's like £30 plus postage, obviously minus fees and everything. And then I had a Wolfenstein, the new order, this was mine, I bought it a while back. Didn't really play it, but then recently I've Game Pass on Xbox and all the Bethesda games have come on for free. So I thought, no point having that anymore, I thought I'd sell it, £5, free postage, so not a lot. And then just sold this morning, I'll try and get them out today is three rolls of wallpaper 17.99 plus postage and i have around 50p per roll into, per roll. so one pound 50 into 17.99 plus postage right i've talked too much let's go <laughs> Right, that's an hour done, it's now 20 to 8. I'm gonna head home, get to the post office, get some listings done, and I will see you again tomorrow. Now this is not the most expensive you know crockery out there. It's just it just so happens that I find this stuff often, probably because they used to make a lot of this stuff in Lancaster, which is just up the road from me. So I think that is why so much of it is around my area. Whereas I suspect if you're in other kind of other other parts of the country like down south or maybe up in scotland it's not as like um you don't find you're probably not finding it as often as i do but you know you go you just kind of work with what you've got don't you different areas of the country different areas of the world certain things you're going to find more than other people and you just kind of have to adapt to what what it is in your area um you know a lot of people 
in my area are selling you know the, the stuff the you know the good stuff like the video games and stuff it just goes so quickly on facebook and stuff it, it just goes so quickly at the car boot sales people are after loads of money for it there's not really too much opportunity to make a profit now you can find these things like the pc game haul that i got last year and the um like the commodore 64 like atari games that i got but they're kind of like one-offs it doesn't happen that often there's been a few others like the sega saturn and a few other bits but it's few and far between i would not be able to kind of do my ebay business just selling um video games i just i couldn't do it i'd love to do that because i love video games but that's never really going to work for me here where i live so you kind of go off and you you look at other things and for me this kind of stuff is where it's at um it sells doesn't always sell massively quickly but people like it it appeals to the international audience as well as uh, the uk obviously probably because not a lot of people are going to be willing to post this stuff overseas with fear of it getting damaged but i've done it so many times you do have to package it really really well i think a couple of people now have asked me to do a video on on like packaging stuff up which i will do uh, i think what i'll do is the next time i sell a set like this like a tea or coffee set or even like a set of plates or something i will do a video on me packaging the stuff up just so you can see i mean it's going to be a you know it's kind of obvious to some degree but to new people who have not done ebay before and want to know you know what what is needed you know is it worthwhile to kind of spend the time packaging it all um you know i think there's a lot of people you know maybe want to kind of branch out into other things but they're not sure if it's worth the time well i will talk you through that i'll do a little segment of a video it probably won't make make a whole video of it but i'll do it i'll add it into a future video of uh, me packaging the stuff up and hopefully it will help somebody i'll show you you know the kind of boxes i use you know and the type of packaging i use and i also picked these up yesterday these were five pounds for those two and five pounds for this which is you know maybe paying up a little bit um these only go for about 15 plus postage and then these go for about maybe 30 i'm going to aim for 30 plus postage see what we can do uh might be you know there's a bit in the ballpark anyway it's in pretty good condition so uh yeah 30 on them 15 on them so that's about all i've got recently last few days i'm kind of not really as actively looking for stuff now two weeks away everything's reopening uh, i don't want a backlog going into you know everything reopening um i'm still looking i'm on the lookout a few things have cropped up i've made a few offers recently on stuff that would have been really good but unfortunately other people have got in there first which is just the way it is uh, one was like a load of corning pans the vision corning pans there were actually like two different customers selling quite a few of them for decent money um but whatever is what it is you know sometimes you get there within like five minutes of the listing going live and you're like yep yeah, i love it i love it and you still don't get it so that's just what it's like sometimes certain things more than others i think when i first started reselling i was definitely not into selling anything fragile um apart from the odd like cookie jar i'd buy the odd cookie jar in the early days um usually like the gingerbread one do you know like the, the gingerbread style one which is like like from shrek the one that looked like it was from shrek i think there was a bit of a thing a few years ago where everybody was was buying them up um so i did i i, I think that's where i kind of started and i thought i've just paid a pound for this and people are willing to pay like 15 20 quid for it and i was just like that's really good you know good good profit good profit margin in that um and then it's just kind of developed from that it's very much trial and error you try a few things some of them work some of them don't um obviously you, know, you do your research you, you look into the stuff before you kind of shell out a load of money 
but um, yeah, you, you know, anyone out there who's new, you can just give it a go and see how it goes. You know, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and if it does, brilliant. You know, what have you got to lose? Hey guys, so we've had a few days where the weather's been quite nice, but I'll check this out now. Iced up. The other day it was like 17 degrees, warm. I can already hear the comments saying, yes Mike, that's how weather works. Hi everyone, day five. Friday today, good Friday. I want to keep this pretty short because I was editing the video last night and it's already too long as it is. So I'm gonna keep it very short, get straight onto the topic I wanted to talk about and just talk about it briefly today. And the topic is on Wednesday, I found out a bit of news, which is good, but also kind of bittersweet. And it's that I will be returning to work full time on the 12th of April. Now, obviously that's brilliant. A lot of people have lost their jobs. I cannot complain. But the reason why it's bittersweet is because I've enjoyed the time at home with my family. I've enjoyed the time that I've been able to put to eBay. And I'm going to be returning full time. And yeah, I've been thinking whether I should take this opportunity to maybe drop a day and just do four days a week and then I've got a whole day to dedicate to reselling. Don't know, what do you guys think? Is that something I should do? Obviously, you know, you don't know my full circumstances, but what could, you know, my wages, you know, they pay all the bills, they pay the mortgage and all the bills and everything. And I'm about to get run over. Um, yeah, so basically my wages pay for all the essential things, drop it a day, um, you know, makes it slightly less comfortable, but hopefully the time that I have extra that I can put into reselling will, will mean I can earn a lot more, but it's a risk, isn't it? Obviously it's hard to say whether that's going to work or not. So there you go. Well, what do you think? Should I give it a go? Should I ask? Anyway, I'm gonna get to it. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so that's it. Day five done. I'm gonna go home and eat Easter eggs. It seems like it's gonna be like a really nice day, but I've just checked and it says like high of nine degrees. So maybe not so much so. There's like no wind, clear skies. So that's it, I'll end it there. Don't want to make it any longer. I know it's a long one, but I hope there's some, there was some good kind of reselling information in there. And if there's any questions, if you've got anything you want me to address in one of these videos, let me know and I will uh, mention it next week. I almost forgot to say, happy Easter to everyone. If you could please like and subscribe, that would be great. Much appreciated. Until the next one. See ya.